Welcome to Lion News, where you believe what we tell you. I'm Detective Hertz. And I'm Detective Alzheimer's. Today, we're going to be talking about why Santa is a Russian spy. First off, do you really think Santa's reindeer have a special flying ability? That proves he's a Russian spy, because only Russians have that kind of mindset. Our Lion News reporters caught never-before-seen footage of Santa in his secret workshop. Here is the video we took of Santa. Once I get these nuclear launch codes, I won't have to deliver presents anymore. These foolish Americans will bow down to capitalism and never buy gifts again. That makes things pretty clear. Looks like Santa should get coal for Christmas. We also have evidence that leads us to believe he has a partner. Here are some pictures that show someone handing him a note. You don't need a translator, no. That says he wants a shipment of uranium. But just because I'm curious, let's translate it. Uh, I think our translator is broken. Well, it's pretty clear Santa's a Russian spy. My job's over. I quit. Well, I really never believed he was a Russian spy. Merry Christmas. Welcome back to Lion News. I'm Brianna Sweetheart, here with Cody Braveheart. In Langford Academics, the Langford State Orland Turf was rescheduled due to inclement weather. It was held in Pierce, South Dakota, instead of the original location, Watertown, and occurred on December 7th. The piece that made of the state was Raiders Theater, Poof. This was read by Jordan Schmig, Molly Hansey, Sarah Sabatis, and Justice Carroll. Because of scheduling conflicts, Madeline Reince and Chesney Olson weren't able to read their pieces, which also made the state level. The participants received the highest score possible, which is also a one or a superior. We had the chance to talk with Ms. Weezer about the music department. Let's see it now. This is the start of my 23rd year at Langford area. When I first came, the percentage of students in high school choir was only about 17%, and right now that's grown to about 90% in the high school. Um, back in, in uh, 1996, though, the percentage of people that were in band was a little bit higher than it is now, um, and overall, we have about 99% in a music class in our school. Well, I'm really fortunate that I teach in a school that has a supportive administration and um, teaching staff and parents. And a lot of our students that go to school here now have parents who actually went to Langford High School, where music has been important the entire uh, lifespan of the school. So that's one advantage that I do have. The South Dakota Music Educators awards schools that have a high participation rate in their school in music activities and music classes. And so um, it's an award that we have to apply for and you can get it three years in a row and then you need to take a year off and then you can reapply again. Uh, there's different levels of, uh, of the award and we have received the highest level each time we've gotten it, um, which is the exemplary level. Um, the last time we had the award, which was a year ago, uh, we were at 99% participation. It's pretty exciting to have a new room that's going to be on the main floor of the school. Um, it's exciting because the students won't have to come up uh, the stairs and we won't have to carry our equipment up and down the stairs, not only for concerts, but for every basketball game or volleyball game. Um, it'll create a lot less wear and tear on our equipment and obviously it's uh, handicap accessible, so that'll be a great thing. We've never had a guitar class before in our school, and for them to be the first ones to be able to use the guitars, they're, they're very excited about it. And they've been not only really excited, but they have also um, treated the guitars, the equipment with respect, and um, they've really done a good job of, of staying excited about it. And we just premiered um, the guitar program at the winter concert just a couple of days ago, and they did a great job. The choir has never received lower than a superior for the years that Ms. Weezer has been on staff. Our very own Gabe Smith was making Christmas tree pallets as gifts. One was to Lisa Carson, who is a breast cancer survivor. He then sold a couple more after the winter program and is still making just a few more, and all proceeds go to the Langford Special Education Program. And now here is Gabe Thundersmith with the weather. I like chocolate. Hello, I'm Gabe Thundersmith, and this is really, really, I like chocolate. The weather for the week of Christmas. We will see temperatures in the mid to upper 20s with some sunshine. Christmas Day. Ho, ho, ho. There will be a heat wave with temperatures near 
33 degrees. Oh, I like chocolate. I hope it doesn't melt. I like chocolate. Thanks, Gabe Thundersmith. Here's Langford Sports. The Langford Area girls basketball team had kicked off the basketball season against the Leola Frederick Titans on December 7th. The score of the game was 54 to 20. The Langford girls had came out and shocked the Titans. The Langford girls had won the season opener. The leading scorer was Chesney Olson. She had 17 points for the night. The leading rebounder was also Chesney Olson, who had 11 rebounds. The Langford Lions had 25 steals against the Frederick Titans, but the Titans also had 26 turnovers. The Langford Lions had a great night. The Langford Area boys team took on the Leola Frederick Titans at Frederick on December 11th. The score of the game was 57 to 47. The Leola Frederick Titans had won the game. Coming up during Langford's Christmas break, Langford hosts a Christmas classic. The boys and girls both play Vi Viberg Hurley. The third game is Aberdeen Christian against Irene Wakanda. The first game starts at 5 in the afternoon. Check Facebook for upcoming games and times. Make sure you come out and support the Langford Area Lions. That's all for Langford Sports. <laughs>